In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to copy over a combi in sequence mode and then use that combi to record a phrase or drum pattern into the Karma sequencer. First off, I'm going to go ahead and dial in a combi or that has some interesting drum beats and associated accent sounds with it. It's the uh, Techno Hip Hop. And if we go ahead and dial to the bank A019, we'll hear this if we play it. You can just toggle the on off button over here whenever you want to disable that pattern from being played whenever you press the keys. Okay, that's the combi that we want to copy over in the sequence mode. When we have it pre-selected here, when we toggle back over in the sequence mode and use the copy from combi utility using the F8 button to navigate to the utilities menu and then go into copy from combi if we press F8 for OK here, it's going to have A19 pre-selected in there. But remember that we can dial to any combi that we like from this portion of the menu as well. And as I've briefly explained before, we're going to go ahead and copy over the effects. That's going to make it be processed through the Insert Master Effects just as it is in combi mode. And we're going to go ahead and check the multi-record standby option. And this is going to allow our sequencer to be set up to record on multiple tracks at once which most of the time if you're copying over a combi you definitely want to do that otherwise you may record notes just from one of the tracks in the associated combi that you copied over. Remember a combi can have up to eight tracks with it. Also you have an option here too you can copy it either tracks 1 through 8 or 9 through 16. Okay then we're going to press the F8 button for OK and now if we play the key we will hear the combi in sequence mode just as it was in combi mode I'm gonna go ahead and cut that back off remember to go ahead and turn that back on too so the pattern will be able to be played whenever you initiate the recording which I'm gonna do right now all we're gonna do is first I want to point out under the preferences tab under F6 Again, multi-record is selected, and I want to explain what's happening with the metronome here as well. It's default set to be a pre-count of two, which means it's going to play for two measures before the recording actually starts. So from the sequencer here, to do a real-time recording of this combi, the first thing we're going to do is press the record right button, and it's going to be more or less like a standby. We're going to hear the metronome ticking, but until I press the stop start button it's not going to record quite just yet so after you press the stop start button then you're going to get that two count on the measure or the metronome and then just press the key and record when you're finished press the stop start button to stop the recording Okay, now I've copied over just a few measures of that pattern into the sequencer. If we press the start start button again, it'll play what we just recorded. We can press the locate button to back up to the beginning of the song again. Also, I want to point out in the menu, if you click on the menu button, and then scroll over to the T-Edit, which stands for Track Edit, and press F8 to open. You're going to see that some of the note information was recorded into the tracks. Anywhere where those darkened slots are, that's where that has taken place. 